Rising retail inventories could mean deep discounts for consumers. Is now the time to purchase that big ticket item you've been eyeing? Or get a jump on holiday shopping? And which retail stocks are good buys right now? Joining me now, Telsey Advisory Group CEO and Chief Research Officer Dana Telsey. Dana, it's always good to talk to you, but it is really great to talk to you live and in person, finally. Exactly. Thank you. And on the first day of your new studio, so congratulations. Exactly. Thank you for having me here. We wanted you to inaugurate it. <laughs> um, so let's start, uh, I guess, at the top of the funnel, supply chains. I'm hearing all sorts of contradictions. The Wall Street Journal reported that the cost of transporting goods has fallen 4x, and yet it's still way more expensive than it used to be. That it's, it, you know, we're getting stuff from China faster, but it's still 100 days versus 50 back in 2019. What are you seeing in the uh, in the supply chain? Disruption is continuing in the supply chain. There's no doubt about it. I think orders are now coming in that were placed a while ago, so it's leading to a mismatch in terms of timing of what the goods are for and when they're arriving. I think some of the new goods you're having lead times continuing to be placed earlier, but as you mentioned. We are seeing a bit of a reduction in the cost of ocean freight that's coming in. And some companies are still using air freight because they want the goods as soon as possible to try to maximize full price sales. Uh, but that's really expensive. Uh, so let's take, so you got the supply chain, now you go to inventories, you walk through a Target, and on the one hand, I'm reading that they bought too many TVs, too many appliances, so we'll see sales. But you walk down another aisle, and this, it's bare. Uh, what's going on? I think inventories are starting to heat up. I'm beginning to hear of order cancellations from some of the wholesale customers. And some companies are beginning to pack and hold some of the goods that, that have arrived already. I think in the apparel world, we'll have a promotional back to school season given the increase in the number of, in the amount of inventories. So that sounds like good news for shoppers. What are we seeing in terms of price increases or could there be such thing as a decrease in inflationary times? On average, most prices are going up at least mid single digits to low double digits. And it's not just the cost of supply chain and freight, but also the cost of raw materials like cotton. And we're going to continue to see price increases as we go, as we go through the back half of the year. But it certainly means a bifurcation because that lower income consumer who's now lapped the stimulus that they received last year is pulling back on spending. And meanwhile, you, you notice uh, the opposite trend on wealthy consumers, which is that they are keeping up with their spending. Um, so that suggests another bifurcation, which is in which retailers are going to benefit and which ones are going to get hurt, right? Exactly. And one of the things on the wealthy consumers that everyone's watching closely is they're correlated to the stock market. The volatility in the stock market, look at the first half of the year, S&P consumer discretionary was down in the index by over 30 percent. Also, the retail ETF down by over 30 percent. So that'll be watched closely, too. But when you think about the stocks, you're certainly seeing some of the essentials still work. You take a look at Costco and the demand for Costco with the value that they can offer. You look at Kroger on the supermarket side. And let's face it, we're back in person now. So Estee Lauder on makeup, you're seeing that recovery in makeup. And, and, and fancier clothes, right? People are getting out of sweatpants and putting on clothes to go to the office or a party or wedding. Well, you've known that those numbers on weddings are big. 2.6 million weddings expected this year compared to an average of nearly 2.1 million a year. So in this point in time, occasion wear is here. Anxious to see the planning as we go through the remainder of 2022. Now, Costco is interesting because not only do the lower end consumers go there to get the deals, but it's known for attracting some wealthy people, too. And it's got a tailwind of everybody wants cheaper gas. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, are there other companies like that, a TJX that sort of does well with both ends? Yeah, we think TJX is going to do well also. I think one of the things we're seeing with off pricers, they're going to be a beneficiary of these inventories that are coming in in dislocated places. And I think they're even watching closely and placing their orders because more is still to come. But the off pricers will benefit certainly for their customers who maybe want a bargain more so than need a bargain. So that, that's a really interesting dynamic. So with the TJX, for instance, when somebody overorders in one thing, it can end up on the shelves there. Is that right? Exactly. And that'll also benefit some of the outlet stores also, as long as we have enough people going there, given the gasoline prices that have risen. But that's another trend that you've seen. Mm -hmm. You said a little bit of a pullback on those online sales and more store traffic. Finally. We are seeing a pickup in traffic. Everyone wants to engage in social engagements mm -hmm. and activities. Shopping is an activity. And we're seeing whether it's friends going 
going out to buy new dresses, friends going out to get something to drink somewhere, all of a sudden they're going into stores and buying things that they haven't had in the past. Styles have updated, sizes have changed for people, and the innovation and product is there. So I'm seeing a pickup in traffic while a moderation in online spending. You want to give us one more retailer that you think looks attractive right here? Ulta. If you th talk about makeup, you got to look at Ulta also. Dana Telsey, thank you so much. Thank you very much.